before I met Eddie, his reputation greatly preceded him. And he was known as somebody who was quite the character. And I sort of expected to see and meet this sort of extremely gregarious, outgoing, bigger than life personality. And I found him to be uh, immediately very humble, uh, very proud of the collection. I think he was prouder of the relationship he had with, uh, with the artist. I knew John Clymer. I liked John Clymer. I liked to visit him. I liked the history stories. I liked the way he described why he did this painting or what motivated that painting. You know, how was he inspired with this? To me, that was a significant part of collecting, a very significant part. It was almost an imperative. If I didn't know the artist, I was usually reluctant to buy the art. He's done a great job, and I, you know I really appreciate uh, him as a friend and as a, uh, a collector who's inspired me to do some things that I probably couldn't have done at different times if he hadn't, uh, you know, kind of poked me to, to do it. You know, and I know that he's done the same thing with some of the other artists. He cared about what they cared about, and he cared about them as people, and I think that is kind of evident in what he selected because he didn't select just whatever they were happened to be doing. He really selected the best of what they were doing. What you see here in this collection is a great love for, for art and American history in the West. And, and uh, uh, to me, it's just, like, it's just like taking a walk around through history. If you look around this collection, it really is the history of modern Western art. And it's not going to be reproduced. No one else is gonna be able to create the body of work in terms of a collection that's on display right here. It's a collection that I've really enjoyed putting together and it's one that we love to share.